Hi, and welcome to Three Minutes with Shema. I've considered uh, calling these the leukemia blogs since I'm uh, doing this once again from my hospital room where I'm getting chemotherapy for acute leukemia. Um, you can look up Yippee, Y-I-P-P-E-E, -E, leukemia on Google and you'll be able to find my blog which details my experience. Today though, we're here to talk about the foundation of God and I will be reading you 2 Timothy 2.19 from the New American Standard Version again. Nevertheless, the firm foundation of God stands having this seal. The Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who names the name of the Lord is to abstain from wickedness. Today I want us to ask, have we built a different foundation than God has built? When it says that the firm foundation of God stands and has this seal, it means there's something written on it. To God, there's something that matters on his foundation, and it is that the Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who names the name of the Lord is to abstain from wickedness. I'd like you to take a look at the three minutes with Shema that covers sound doctrine from Titus chapter two, and see that that topic is similar to this one. We know that it is very important to Christ that the people of God be united because it is through our unity that the world is going to know that the Father sent the Son. You'll read that in John 17, verses 20 through 23. And I'd like us to consider all the other foundations that we've built, the reasons that we've established to separate ourselves from other Christians and see whether the foundations that we have built lines up with the foundation that God says is firm and that stands, that is based on the fact that everyone who names the name of the Lord should abstain from wickedness. And again, combine that with our discussion of sound doctrine from Titus 2 in the other three minutes with Shema. And that's all I've got to say for today. Thank you very much for joining me.